Today we learned that America has lost a trailblazing leader with the passing of Colin Powell. It's hard to imagine a more quintessentially American story. A son of Jamaican immigrants who learned Yiddish from his boyhood neighbors in the Bronx, becomes a four-star general in the United States Army, and serves four presidential administrations, including as national security advisor, the youngest ever chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and the first black Secretary of State. In his lifetime, he broke down so many barriers, and he held some of the most important titles in this great nation. General of the United States Army, National Security Advisor, America's first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and our first black Secretary of State. It is sad and ironic that a man who spent so much of his life defending others from danger in the end died from a common enemy that too many of our fellow citizens continue to deny, thus giving the virus an opportunity to replicate and wreak havoc. We are not each other's enemies. The virus is the enemy. Today, it claimed the life of an American statesman. By this time tomorrow, it will have taken another 1,500 Americans, family members, neighbors, heroes to many, especially for young children who can't be vaccinated yet, and for the millions of Americans with compromised immune systems. We've really got to increase our vaccination rates.